In this episode, I'm going to cover wiring up the Firebase Auth for iOS in my Flutter application. I'll start off by creating a Firebase app. Then I'll configure iOS for Google services. Then I'll import the Google Sign-In and Firebase Auth plugins. After that, I'll wire up the sign-in process and test it. So let's get started. So I'm going to minimize this. And what I want to do is create my application, and I'm going to do it in the terminal. So what I want to do is type in Flutter Create and I'm going to use an org this time, org, and this is going to be my domain name, com.cockat, and then I'm going to name my application Firebase Sandbox. I'm going to hit enter to generate my application. Once the application is generated, I'm going to open up IntelliJ IDEA, and what I want to do is click on open and navigate to the directory I created the application in, which is in my training Flutter Firebase Sandbox. Hit open. Once the application is open, I'm going to go and create my Firebase application in the project. So I'm going to go to Firebase on the browser. And what I want to do is select one of the projects that I've already created. And I'm going to select my Dev Sandbox. I've already created two apps in here. And I want to add a third. And this will be my iOS application. So I'm going to click Add Another App. And I'm going to select iOS. And I named my bundle ID com.gocat.firebase.sandbox. Here's my domain name I used in the org argument. And here's the Firebase Sandbox. And that was the name of my application. So I'm going to name it my Firebase Sandbox. I'm going to come back and add this later. All right, I'm going to click on register my application. Now that I've completed that, I'm going to click on Download Google Services Info plist, and this will download. After this, I need to add it to my application, and I'll show how to do that next. Okay, I'm going to go back to IntelliJ IDEA, and what I want to do is expand it, and I'm going to the Go to iOS Runner. But before that, I need to build my project for iOS so I can open it up in Xcode. So I'm going to go down to the terminal, and what I want to type in is Flutter Build iOS. This will build iOS so I can open it up in Xcode. And I'll show you why I want to open it in Xcode next. So the way I'm going to open up Xcode is focus on the iOS directory and I'm going to drag it over to my Xcode in my dock and it will open up my project. Well, I'm going to make my project a little bit smaller here. And what I want to do next is drag my services, Google services info P list into the runner application. So here's my runner. This is my application root. So I'm going to drag it into or put it below the runner here and it will import. But before that, I have to complete the options in the dialog that shows up. So I'm going to select add to targets runner and all the defaults I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on finish because I want to copy the items needed into the project. Okay, there it is. Well, I'm done with Xcode now so I can close it. I had to import it in Xcode, otherwise it does not register correctly. So I'm going to close Xcode because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to go back to the iOS directory on my project and focus in on info P list because I've got to add an attribute to this list. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the list. So what I want to do next is go to the plugin repo and copy the attribute I need next. So I'll include the link in the description of the video. So I'm going to go to the Google plugins. And what I want to do is go to the Firebase Auth plugin. I'll put a link to this plugin in the video description. So I'm going to go to the example application by clicking on example. And I want to go to the iOS directory and runner, which is the application and info P list. Once I'm in this file, I'm going to scroll down and what I'm looking for is CF bundled URL types. And this may move and change in this file, but you're looking for bundle types. What I want to do is copy the key and value. The value is the array and I'm going to go copy and I'm going to go back to my IntelliJ IDEA and I want to paste this at the bottom of false here, which is at the bottom of the dictionary or bottom of the attributes and I'm going to paste it in. And so the next step is to replace the value of the array, and I'm going to remove that. And that's the client reverse ID. And the way I get that is go to the Google Services Info P list, and I'm looking for reversed client ID. So this value I want to copy, and that's right below the key. 
So I'm going to go back to the info P list and I'm going to paste that in. So that's my reverse client ID. So I'm done with info P list and the Google services info. And now I want to go to the pubsec.yaml and import the dependencies. Well, I've got two dependencies to import this time. And what I want to do is import those. It'll be the Google sign in and Firebase auth. So I'm going to go to the browser and I'll include the links to these plugins to download the dependencies. So the Google sign in first, I'm going to copy the Google sign in and paste it back into the IntelliJ idea. And that will be in the pubsec.yaml. So I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to go back to the Firebase auth plugin this time and copy that. I'll put the links to these plugins in the video description. So I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to fetch these dependencies and click on packages.get to do that. So they're fetched. Now I can wire up the sign in process in my main.dart. So I'm going to go to the top. And the way I like to wire it up is copy the bits from the sample application. So I'm going to go to the example application and the plugin list. So the examples, I've already gone to it. So I'll include this link in the video description. And I'm going to go into the Firebase example and library directory and main.dart. And what I want to do is copy the imports at the top. So I'm going to go back to the IDE and paste that in at the top. And the next step is to copy the instances. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to the top and paste in instances. Now I have the auth and Google sign in instances instantiated. I want to copy a method to handle the sign in. And here's a good method to copy the test sign in with Google. So I'm going to copy that, go back to the IDE and paste it in. So I'm going to paste it in, but I got to import the library for future. So import library dart async, and that gets imported and put at the top. Okay, so now I'm ready to call method to sign in the process. But before I do that, I'm going to hit print here and print out the user once they're signed in. So this user is signed in and I'll put in user. So it prints out the object. So if you look at what user is, it's the Firebase user object. So it will use sign in with Google to get that object. So if all is well, it'll print out the user in the console. So I'm going to go down and call this from the action button. So what does the action button do? The floating action button calls increment counter. So I'm going to go to the increment counter and I'll just take it on. Whoop paste it in something there. Oop, I'll go to the increment counter and paste it in and call this sign in process when it's clicked. So it will sign in and print out in the console. So if all is well, it will print out. Okay, I need to load up the simulator. So I'm going to open up the iOS simulator. Once the iOS simulator is booted up, I'll start and launch the application. Okay, the iOS simulator is booted up, so I'm going to debug the application by clicking on the debug icon. Okay, that's a good sign. My application has booted up and is running now. So I'm going to click on the floating action button and it's going to ask me to sign in. Excellent. So I'm going to sign in with my developer account, gv.cockat1 at gmail.com. Click on next and I'm going to Enter my password, but I won't show you. So excellent. It printed out the user object. Well, it printed out three times. Not sure why it did that. And it shows the properties of the user object. Excellent. Well, that was easy to wire up the Google authentication process for Firebase authentication. Well, that concludes this video today. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.